But, but the good thing about this the work that these guys are doing is they're not just dealing with the band aid solution. You know, they're dealing with you know this sort of proactive, you know, wide scale, long term transformation. I just I found there were some volunteer opportunities here, and the day I walked in, they're just I'd been in here in the past, and it kind of. Every time I went to talk to someone, I was passed on to someone else, and there was just not a lot. And I just, I'd left feeling confused and like, and disappointed. And then this particular day, I came in, and there was just this buzz here. It's just, just a new feeling, and I thought, cool. And I started the next day. It just kind of said to me that there's a lot of people that need to be shown that you can do other stuff. It's not about the money. It's not everything that we can do. We've already got. We've got. And there's so many people I find in an area like this who are in, stuck in bad habits because they just don't know that they don't have to do that. They, there's, they don't know that there's any different option. You always have the same problem. We could be living at, you know, but the most expensive area in the place, and you probably find people 10,000 times worse than the worst person around here, so... You know, I guess, you know, years gone by, and eventually we were from the land, and it was like someone from Mount Druid. Right. And right. <laughs> there's a lot more for the kids, you know. Like a lot more activities, yeah. a lot more services. Yeah. yeah, and the people are becoming more proud of the areas. Yeah, well. definitely. Yeah. Well, it's just the most of putting out fires, you know, because that, that, that's what facts often have to do. Uh, and, and facts and housing and, and all, those, all those folks. So, yeah, it's great to see, you know, proactive long-term stuff happening. So, yeah. Oh, it's just been a wonderful year, Vanessa. And I truly have had it. It's been a crazy good year. Better than last year. No, last year was pretty good as well. The last couple of years. Oh, but is every year been getting better? Oh, better. Why? Because just better and better and... More understandings happening in the community. Yeah, in the in the com in my street. I'm proud of that. Um, you know, and to see the things that they said in the beginning happening, they're there, they're there. But what about our cafe? Has anybody, you know, yeah. what I mean? And talking to the kids, you know, when we were at, at the um, barbecue at the green area, and Donna just talking to the kids. And saying, yeah, but if you look after it, it is yours. You can, you own it. You know, th this is used as a, as a one-page catch-all. You know, this is what we've achieved and where we're going. I came here and was because it was a leaflet in my mailbox asking me volunteers. Oh. And I just moved back here and I pulled out of the mailbox and went, that's me. I'm here. That's, well. <laughs> that's what this place is about. This is family, a community. Yeah. And we're there. It's like a village. Yeah. Everyone has to pitch in and help. Everything about being here makes it worthwhile. Yeah. So this is my second life. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, there were three young ones sitting at the start and it was lunchtime and they didn't have any, hadn't had any food. And so down I come down the road with my pot of food and they asked me, they said, oh, excuse me, miss, what's in your pot? So I showed them the samosas and caramel slices. And they said, oh, can we, we've got no money, but can we have one each? Oh, cheeky. So I did. Uh, I gave the three of them a uh, samosa each. And ever since then, they the ones who told their friends. So these three little ones helped me get my business rocking. Oh. Yeah. So now I'm back here, and I'm just living a pretty good life, actually. Anybody I see needs some help, if I can help, I do. It's lovely. If they want some help, if they don't want any help, there's not much you can do until I come and ask. And what sort of help do you find yourself giving these days? Oh, some of the people down our way have got, some have got alcohol problems, some have got drug problems, and instead of... And you'd be accustomed to them for your work. 
Yeah, yeah. And sometimes yeah. you can talk them, talk to them and calm them down instead yeah. of ringing the police and yes, you know. Yes. But not all of them want to talk to you. Well, it's on the front of the bike track, and they're coming past our beautiful yeah. surf club, all neat, all schmick. They hit Whitby, and it's just like hitting the haunted house zone. Okay. And you watch them. I've watched them sort of put their heads down and too scared to... Well, that's my feeling anyway. Yeah, right. Okay. So what I felt was that when they're on their bike and they're coming, they can enjoy it and not have to put their head down because if they can... It'll be look lovely. Yes, yes. It'll look beautiful. Not just scary rubbish stuck in an old scrub. Yes. And yes. where kids can hide and throw rocks at them, which has been known to happen. Oh, they have been stopped from doing that though. Yeah. I mean, she's quite old, but she's as bright as bright can be. She's very independent as well, and um, doesn't forget a thing. And she, her grandson is the same age as my boys, and so yeah. we've recently got them together and we kind of forced a couple of play dates and now every other day this little boy is coming past the house and oh. my boys have gone from being in on their computers and now they're out the front playing handball and um, this little boy was being picked on a bit at the beach by himself and um, now my sons are kind of they've got their own little crew to kind oh, of just so support each other and I can see it being a very good summer. And next door I play um, basketball and soccer and sometimes play tip and sometimes play this game about wizards with him and sometimes I play with, um, a, what was the name again? I forgot the dog's name next door and I play with him as well sometimes. And another favourite thing that I like to do is explore the mountains with my big brother Tony and he's, he's a rock climber and he's, um, and it's, he's like a ninja. I've joined an... It's called the Older Women's Network, and they sort of look at different things that they think maybe we could do some work to, towards to get things changed and send the Parliament to see, you know. So I work, I'm trying to work with them. And, and we've still got more projects, and someone said to write a bucket list, well I've got one. <laughs> And if anybody wants to know, yeah, go for it. um, it's actually to clean up the front of Whitby. Yeah.